The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors. The content heard on the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show is for informational or educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice or consultation with healthcare professionals. Hi, this is Dr. Thomas O'Brien. For almost 25 years, I specialize in offering families an affordable concierge service to avoid paying costly medical insurance or unreachable deductibles without giving up free Healthcare. As an osteopath, I offer osteopathic adjustments alongside medical examinations. Also, I offer discounts to military and first responders. I am now accepting no-fault patients, which include osteopathic adjustments, medical treatments, and prescription services, including medical marijuana. At my practice, my patients never pay co-pays and still receive the most personal and complete medical care. I have spent my career devoted to providing healthcare at affordable prices. Everybody should have a relationship with their physician. I work for you and your family. The honor and privilege is mine. If you have been in an automobile accident, please call my office at 631-980-8200 for an immediate appointment. To learn more about me and my practice, visit drtomio.com. Again, I am accepting no-fault patients. Call my office for an immediate appointment, 631-980-8200. Welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas O'Brien. The X Dr. Tommy O Show can be heard every Wednesday at 4 p.m. on 103.9 LI News Radio. I offer a very affordable concierge practice, which allows you access to the, to the quality care you really deserve. With no rush office visits, both you and I can take our time and discuss your health care needs. As your primary care physician, it is important for me to have a baseline knowledge of your health. I look at you when you're speaking to me, listen to what you're saying, and feel you both physically and emotionally. This way, when you come to my office not feeling well, knowing your history allows me to properly diagnose and treat your illness. Call my office today and schedule history and physical. To my military family, I got your six. To my Masonic brothers, the light is bright. If you wait, it may be too late. Tomorrow, it's Thanksgiving. So I want to show all my listeners, happy Thanksgiving. This is the time where we celebrate family. We celebrate our nation coming together as one. Today, I have a special show. This is someone I've known for a long time. uh, And to protect her identity, I will call her Miss G. Miss G, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Good morning, Dr. O'Brien. It's a pleasure (laughs) to be here. Yes, I I wanted to, uh, you know, bring you on so we can have a nice conversation, so we can enrich our, uh, my, the the, the, uh, studio, the uh, station listeners on um, your background is what you offer the community and our relationship. Yes. All right. So let's start off with something real simple. Uh, Where are you from? I am from Queens, Howard Beach. Howard Beach. Yes. And uh, you said you went to uh, John Adams? I did. I went to John Adams. Yes, I did. That's it. I, my grandparents went to uh, John Adams. Did they really? A long, long time, <laughs> yeah, long time ago. Long time ago. They they met. Uh, here's a, a quick, uh, fun little story. Uh, my um, grandma was a freshman and uh, 14 years old. And my grandfather was, uh, you know, on Saturdays, what, what did you do back then? You went to the movie theater and you yes. saw the short, what were they called? Shorts. Mm-hmm. And you had all the cartoons between the movies and they would spend all day. So uh, the story is that uh, my grandfather was there with his best friend and they were walking up from the bottom of, of the theater, uh, you know, to the exit doors. Right. And my grandma was there with uh, some of her friends and his best friend knew one of the girls that were wow. there. And uh, so my grandfather saw my grandma oh, and man. he looked at her and he says, hi, Freshie. <laughs> yeah, because he knew she was a freshman. Right. And, uh, hi, oh, Freshie. That's so funny. Yeah. And uh, from that point on, mm-hmm. uh, they started dating. So they were together 75 years. That's amazing. Yeah, 75. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow. most people can't even get by a day. <laughs> a day, I know. <laughs> 75. You know, I think they passed away in their, in their 90s. Um, so my, I think my grandma was 93. My, father, my grandfather was 96 about to turn 97 wow. yeah yeah oh, phenomenal that's so life so beautiful it's so nice you don't hear these stories anymore no 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 well because we you know things have changed yes. you know they get together uh my parents uh, married when they were 18 mm-hmm. you know my mom was 18 uh, i was here when she was 19 my father was 21 and right. he turned 22 when i was here mm-hmm. so it's a little bit different you know we're getting uh married 
uh, much later. I, I believe yes. the, the, the average is about uh, 27 for uh, for professional women and right. having the first child in the early 30s now. Yes. Yeah, 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 much so. later. Oh, my God. Years ago, it was you get married at 21, have a baby. Even before that, 18. My mom was married at 18. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, first different. child, 19. Yep. Yep. It's Crazy. different. Different time. Yes. All right. So let's talk about what you do. Okay. What I do. So I am in the medical profession. I um, I love what I do, and you inspire me. Actually, um, I I go to school. I work. I do what I do because I just love being with the patients. It's just the best feeling. And I see how you are with your patients and you inspired me to go back to school. I want to be a nurse practitioner. Right. You really are how you are with your patients, how you made me feel. My my girls um, also come to see you and you are just an amazing physician. And that's what <laughs> I want to do. I want to be like you. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, that, you know, it's, it's, you know, based on uh, how we were raised, yes. you know, uh, the family, the Absolutely. core, I always say my patients are family, uh, you yes. know, uh, it's not anyone can uh, prescribe the pill, give the yes. pill, yes. Uh, but it's the actual, you know, look, listen, and feeling, you know, yes. and I keep saying that it's so important to communicate, you know, visually and audibly. So you got to listen to the patient. Yes. Uh, Which know. most doctors don't do. And you feel uncomfortable. You go in, it's, it's, you're just a number. You go in, you sit down, they ask you, they give you your prescription and you leave. And that's the, it's such a horrible feeling because you don't feel, there's no empathy there. There's no, how could you understand what I'm saying if you're not listening to me? Right. And, or your back is towards me and you're writing a prescription. That's a horrible, horrible feeling for a patient. Right, right. Well, is, <laughs> now, you know, everything's uh, electronic medical records. So, yes. you know, you have five minutes. Uh, I know the residents now are being taught one complaint yes. per visit. Yes. One complaint. That's horrible. No, as, as a primary care physician, there's more than one complaint because I'm looking at the patient holistically Right. You know, mind, body, spirit. So I'm addressing several issues all at the same time. Yes. Uh, and I, I'm not able to, you know, if it's one complaint, your back's to them and they're pecking away on the yes. keyboard because there's so much pressure to mm -hmm. document and, you know, because you get paid based on documentation, not right. treatment now. Right. Isn't that sick? That's terrible. Right. It's so terrible. Yeah. So the more you document, you can bill out at a higher level. Absolutely. Well, does that have anything about, you know, dealing with care? Mm -hmm. No. Doesn't. No, that's just documentation. So we went from caring for the patient to now focusing on documentation. You know, peck away, peck. So there's no way you're going to be able to listen, you know, just barely listen. Uh, five minute visit, right? Five yes, minute visit. Five minute, and that's it. That's when it. I come into you, I feel like I'm there for so long, but it's, it's, you don't even realize it because you just, you just make the patients feel so comfortable. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I like to build a relationship with the patient when they first came. I remember the first time you, you know we we met. Um, I asked, her, "Where are you from? What do you mm -hmm. do?" You know, I'm breaking the ice. You know, before we got into medicine mm -hmm. and actually exam, we had a nice conversation. Right. And and I wanted to, you know, so we don't have that what we call white coat syndrome. I wanted to right. break it down so you felt comfortable. And you did absolutely. <laughs> I never. I when I moved to Seaford because I'm from originally from Howard Beach, so I was afraid to try a new doctor. I was going to drive all the way back to Howard Beach to go to Dr. Istrico, who I love. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that you told me that, um, that what, what did you do? You Yeah, well, because I'm a, uh, ring, a, a ringside physician. I do professionals and amateur boxing. Right. And, and that's why I always ask, what do you do? Where you're yes. from? Because mm -hmm. that was our connection. We yes. immediately, you know, besides both being Italian, how you doing? <laughs> Um, so we connected uh, where um, Dr. Ishkel, he was the medical director for 35 years, and he oversaw the Golden Gloves. Mm -hmm. And I was one, under his tutelage, yeah. and he was my the medical director, and I worked underneath him. And then uh, we had something in common when we were talking, when we first met. We just yeah. hit it off. Being Absolutely. You know, oh, it was um, amazing. It turns out that he's an osteopath as well. Mm -hmm. um, he went to Philadelphia school, and right away, you know, he... We said certain things and we both knew and then we started talking about, right. you know, osteopathic medicine in the schools we went to. And for that was it. That yep. was it. And then um, I started started offering more and more shows and then I became one of the top physicians. Mm -hmm. There was two others and we were getting the prime shows because right. we just hit it off. Mm -hmm. um, we, we thought the same way. We practiced the same way um, and had the same understanding and approach. Mm -hmm. So when you mentioned that, I'm like, I know. Um, yeah, we're, it's, it's a long, long time. So we worked together for 15 15 years. Uh, you know, so and from that point on, we just, uh, you know, develop a nice yes, relationship. Absolutely. And then you brought your uh, family to me. Yes. 
Yes, definitely. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. It's important. Um, you know, that's why it's called family practice, mm-hmm. okay? Because you, you care for the entire family. And you do. It's, it's amazing because you remember their names. When I come in, you ask me what happens, you know, if I might have told you something that happens. You remember everything. And that yeah. is so rare. You don't. You don't have you don't meet doctors like that anymore. No, no. Well, that's a, you want a comprehensive approach. Uh, we always say continuity of care. You know, yes. you, I start and then I finish. Yes. Uh, uh, I, we got uh, fifty. It's about fifty seconds left, and I'll just make a statement. We'll close off the first segment. But okay. you know, a lot of patients, a lot of individuals who can't afford insurance. This is a prime opportunity. I'm giving you a wonderful opportunity for hundred dollars a month to see me, and you're going to have continuity of care. If not, you go to an urgent care center. Mm-hmm. Uh, urgent care centers two hundred twenty five dollars a visit every time you come in. For that, you have me for two months, and you have the owner, who's the physician, who's going to see you every single time. <laughs> not different. For, you right. know. A providers right all right so i'm down to the last 20 seconds so come and join my practice let me help you lead a happier and healthier life if you wait and me be too late to learn more about my practice go to drtomio.com that's drtomio.com if you prefer to stop by my office it's located 250 patchwork at Bank road suite 16 east patchwork new york or give me a call at 631-980-8200 Welcome back to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas O'Brien. I offer a very affordable concierge practice, which allows you access to the quality care you really deserve, with no rush office visits, so you, both you and I, can take our time and discuss your healthcare needs. As your primary care physician, it is important for me to have a baseline knowledge of your health. I look at you when you're speaking, I listen to what you're saying, and I feel you both physically and emotionally. This way, when you come to my office not feeling well, knowing your history allows me to properly diagnose and treat your illness. Call my office today and schedule history and physical. January, it's only a month and a half away, probably a little less than a month and a half. So schedule appointments so we can set up a history and physical and start the year off right. So I want to continue uh, part one. I have a, a patient and um, who's giving a testimonial. And if you go to my website, uh, ex, uh, drtomio.com, and you can go and see other shows that I've taped, my radio shows, previous shows, as well as if you go to the testimonial page. I have written testimonials. Uh, any, anyone can have a written testimonial. But I also have video testimonials where my patients are putting themselves out there so they can help enrich the community and educate you you and they're telling you about the services I provide and how they felt. We're doing the same today. So I want to w- welcome back for part two, Miss G. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. All right. So we start, you know, finished off with about, uh, you know, uh, how important it is, uh, continuity of care. So why don't we talk about what you offer, your services, yes. and what motivated you to go into the practice that you're in right now? Okay. So what motivated me, Dr. Ishtarko was actually my, he was the first one who made me feel This is what I need to do, how he helped me. I had a medical condition and he just, he was, you two are so similar because so personable, just make you feel so comfortable and just your immediate diagnosis, just understanding just by what I'm telling you and how I'm feeling. And just by walking in, you could see what's wrong. It's just amazing. So, um, that's what I wanted to do. And then I met you and it just, going back to school later in life at, at such, you know, I'm, I'm 50 years old now, but Going back to school, sitting in the classroom, you just what you think about is just how what I what how can I make it better? How can I make a patient feel? I'm I'm in the hospital now, working in the hospital, and the feeling of when a patient you know grabs me by my arm and tells me, "Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Just thank you. It's the, it's the best feeling. You walk away with this. Just you're, my heart is so filled. I did something right today, and that's right. that's such an accomplishment. And I'm sure I hope that you have that feeling as right. well. And I know you do because that's how you make me feel. So um, that's 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 it. That's it. That's it. You know, depending feeling. on <laughs> exactly. You know, depending on on your faith. You know, uh, of course. You know, if you believe in Christ, you know, being anointed, we have that power. Mm-hmm. You know, through us to be anointed and be oh, able to touch and heal do. people. Absolutely. You know, that that was his gift. You know, where he touched people and yes. uh, was able to heal. And if you believe, I always say, if you have faith, the miracles will happen. I and agree. if if you believe, you're able to touch and heal because yes. we have that ability. Yes. And uh, I enjoy that. 
And that's why, uh, you know, I, I follow the path of uh, hands-on healing yes. and uh, being an osteopath and, and be mm -hmm. able to manipulate. Yes. And uh, so let's talk about manipulation. Oh, let's talk about it because it is amazing. So with b being in the hospital with my patients, you know, moving them and, you know, it, it, it's so hard. I walk, I walk out of, the, I crawl out of the hospital. And then I'll come to see you the next morning, and I literally crawl into your office, onto your table. And when you manipulate me, I just I jump off that table, and I could run a marathon. I have the feeling is just it's extraordinary. Right. You you feel what you it's you just bring everything back into place. It, mm -hmm. it, it's a great feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It has to be done. You right. know, I hear people with a backache or it's something, and I just go see Doctor O'Brien. He's going to fix you. He's just amazing. What you do, it's <laughs> you have you have this amazing power. I, I don't know what it is. You're just amazing. Right. <laughs> well, you know, you've, if you've been to a chiropractor, you see the way that they do it versus the way we do it. Uh -huh. um, the founding uh, uh, principles and, and original techniques are, are our techniques. And as time advanced, they uh -huh. started to develop their own techniques. But I, matter of fact, right now, so I'm going to put this out there. Right now, I am writing my third book. Uh, I have really? it. Yeah. Oh, my God. So uh, I have everything together, yes. um, everything. And um, I just completed all the case presentations and it's about manipulation oh, wow. and so um, again we're going to talk about you know we'll have my bio and then uh, Dr. Still our founding father and then we go into the core principles and so forth so I, br I bring up cases where um, I'm not going to give them away so you can buy the book yes. uh, but uh, as if I'll a patient definitely buy the first one <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, you know discussing uh, my, my thought process and, and mm -hmm. how I treated the patient and having mm -hmm. su success uh, without using medication Right, which is I, I don't want to do the medication. I, I'm telling you, if, we're on the table. I'm on the table for ten minutes, and how you manipulate me is just. Oh, it, you hear everything cracking. It just feels so amazing when you put me back. You put me back together. I come in broken. You put me back together. That's right. <laughs> Great well, yeah, we, you know, well, that's working together as a team. And that's the, yes. what I call the hands-on healing, yes. uh, being able to touch someone. Again, it's, you know, spiritually, you know, it's the mind, body, spirit of mind, yes. body, soul. You, you must have all three. Yes. If you want to perform well in life, you need all three aspects. Absolutely. If one's out, one's out of Kilter, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, if one's out, it just, something's off. Right. You know, we say structures function. Without proper structure, there's Absolutely. no function. Absolutely. Okay? I agree. That's it. So we need to do this. And you were talking about being a, an adult learner and going back and yes. and the struggles and raising a family and, and, and how many hours are you working? Oh, and God, it's a lot. It's yeah, a lot, yeah. but it's such a great feeling. You just, I, you know, I'm one of, I'm a nerd. I sit in the front of the classroom, my front row, and my hands up all the time. And it's just so, it's empowering as a woman and an older woman going back to school. And I have all the young kids around me, and they're asking me questions. It's, it's a great feeling. Right. It's really, and it's, you know, you learn in the classroom, but I really learn in the hospital. I learn coming to you. I mean, just listening to you and how, how you are with your patients. I take that with me to the hospital and that's how I am with mm -hmm. my patient. It's just, you know, you, you pay it forward. If you, you know, you help me, I'm going to help someone else. It's such a great feeling. Right, 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 right. It really is. But learning is at this age. I mean, when I was younger and I was in John Adams, you know, I went in the front door and I went out the back door, you know, mm -hmm. it was terrible. You know, I didn't, I didn't care. But as you get older, uh, you get wiser. And right. You just, I feel learning now it's a great feeling such i'm i'm so lucky right i'm right, so right. lucky to have this opportunity well we know statistically that adult learners do better because you have absolutely less distractions yes definitely yeah. my, i'm doing great i feel fantastic it's just you know i walk out of the classroom every time i walk out of the classroom i take something with me exactly and exactly great feeling you have a new appreciation when you're younger you know you're going oh we got i'm going out to the club tonight i'm doing mm -hmm. this there's a yeah. party there's always something going you know, on things you know? going on in your head you know yeah, the boy that yeah. you like or mm -hmm. you know a girl that you like it's just you know you're always so distracted but yeah. when you get older your focus is my focus is school and teaching my girls you know lead by example and i want my girls to do well and i need to do well and right. that's it and you're never too old i feel i'm 50 and by the time i'm done with school 52 maybe 54 i'd go on just keep going and going you're never too old exactly you know you're gonna the number's gonna be there regardless Absolutely. and so you need to push through yes uh, you keep learning you learn the rest of your life uh we have a little less than two minutes left uh so i want to bring up you, you brought one of your clients to me because they were having difficulties with their physician yes 
and uh, uh, so they they were having issues with uh, the sugar. Yes, uh, kept getting urinary tract infections. Yes, and then I th- we did a thorough history and physical, and then mm-hmm. we fi- found out what the problem was. Exactly, and you were able to get her back on track, and she's doing fantastic. Yes, is she ni- ninety. <laughs> she's ninety. Ninety. Yeah, she's gonna be. She's gonna be ninety one in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. It's amazing. So yeah, it's funny. Uh, our family sent me a card. Thanking yes. me, you know, so that was, that was, uh, we have it on the wall, so that was special. Yes. Uh, but uh, that's I do, it's, I want to tell you, I'm going to interrupt you because I have to tell you this. She has dementia and I want, she will, she never forgets you. She forgets faces, she forgets names, but she never forgets you. Whenever I say Dr. O'Brien, oh, I love him. He's um, the best doctor in the whole world. And I tell her we have to go to the doctor. She doesn't want to go. But if I tell her we're going to Dr. O'Brien, okay, we're going. Yeah, it's funny. Great. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, she likes to laugh. She's pretty sharp in the yes, room. You would never know that. She certainly is. She certainly is. <laughs> we, we, I love her. Quick, quick comebacks there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right. So we have uh, about 40 seconds left. Uh, I want to thank you for being on the show today. Thank and, you so much for having me. Yeah, it's, it's important. Pleasure. Yeah, no, no. Th- I, thank you. It's important for you to help uh, enrich our community uh, on what you're going through because there's a lot of women out there uh, who are going through what you're you know going back to school thinking Don't about going stop. back to school Just keep going right so we want to encourage them the girl power keep doing let's it let's do keep this moving on let's do this it's Absolutely. important you know just because you're older you can go back to school oh, become educated definitely all right, so let me just wrap out today's show. Today was a beautiful show. Thank you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. All right, so to learn more about my practice, go to drtimeo.com. That's drtimeo.com. I'll give my office a call at 631-980-8200. The content heard on the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show is for informational or educational purposes only and does not substitute professional medical advice or consultation with healthcare professionals. The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.